नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम क्लास सेवन के जनरल साइंस में लेसन नंबर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर बैठ कर सकते हैं ये है लेसन नंबर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्लासीफाई अकॉर्डिंग टू फूड टाइप द एंसर इज हर्बी वरस काउ डियर गोड बफेलो कार्निवरस टाइगर लायन फ्रॉक ओमनीवरस स्पेरा ह्यूमन कॉकरोच स्क्वेंजर्स वर्चर डिकम्पोजर सेप्रोट्रॉफिक बैक्टेरिया फंगस पैरासिटिक टिक ना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मैच द पेयर्स ग्रुप ए एंड ग्रुप बी इसको मैच करना है द एंसर इज फर्स्ट पैरासिटिक प्लांट कैसकटा सेकेंड इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट ड्रोसेरा थर्ड सेप्रोफाइटिक प्लांट मशरूम फोर्थ सिम्बियोटिक प्लांट लाइक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन योर ओन वर्ड्स फर्स्ट वाई डू लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म नीड न्यूट्रिशन द एंसर इज लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म नीड न्यूट्रिशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग रीजन फर्स्ट फॉर द कंटिन्यूस सप्लाई ऑफ एनर्जी टू परफॉर्म वर्क सेकेंड टू हेल्प इन द ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी थर्ड टू रिप्लेस द वन आउट टिश्यू एंड टू रिपेयर द डैमेज टिश्यू फोर्थ to have resistance to infections and diseases now next second explain the process of production of food in plants the answer is first the plants prepare the food by the process of photosynthesis plants absorb water and minerals present in the soil with the help of roots second the carbon dioxide is taken from the air and with the help of chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight plants prepare glucose in the process of photosynthesis third in the process oxygen is liberated by the plant fourth chemical reaction of the photosynthesis is carbon dioxide 6 co2 plus water is 6 h2o sunlight chlorophyll food or glucose c6 h2o6 plus oxygen 6o2 now next third what is meant by parasitic plant name their different types with examples of each the answer is first the plant that depend on other plants for their nutritions are called parasitic plants second the parasitic plants are heterotrophic in their mode of nutrition some of them lack chlorophyll and thus cannot perform photosynthesis on their own third lorenthes is partial parasite it sucks the nutrition from its host but prepare its own food Fourth cascata and dodder does not have chlorophyll it looks yellow wire like climber hence it is complete parasite on the host tree now next fourth explain the various steps of nutrition in animals the answer is there are main five steps of nutrition in animals with ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection first ingestion feeding means ingestion food is taken in the body in the process of ingestion second digestion different enzymes act on the complex food constituent and convert these into soluble nutrients this process takes place at the different places in the alimentary canal third absorption the digested soluble nutrients are absorbed in the food fourth assimilation the nutrients are taken to each cell and tissues through the blood circulation in the cells energy is produced using these nutrients once the energy is released then the food is said to be assimilated fifth ejection the matter that is not digested and absorbed is thrown out of the body in the last step of ejection now next fifth name some unicellular organism in which all life processes take place within their unicellular body the answer is amoeba euglena and paramecium are the unicellular organism in which all the life processes take place within a single cell now next question question number 4 give reasons first insectivorous plants are attractively colored the answer is insectivorous plants feed on insects they need to capture the insects in order to attract these insects towards the plant they are attractively colored now next second butterflies have a long tube like proboscis the answer is every insect is provided with mouth parts for ingestion it feed on nectar and pollen from the flowers it thus has a tube like proboscis to suck this food from flower now next question question number 5 prepare the complete the flow chart according to type of nutrition nutritions plants and animals in plants heterotrophic heterotrophic symbiotic in animals 
होलोजोइक सेप्रोजोइक पैरासिटिक इन हिट्रोट्रोफिक इंसेक्टिवरस सेप्रोफाइटिक एंड इन पैरासिटिक एक्टो पैरासिटिक एंड एंडो पैरासिटिक नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स थिंक एंड एंसर फर्स्ट वी प्रिपेयर अ वेराइटी ऑफ फूड स्टफ एंड डिशेस एट होम आर वी देन ऑटोट्रोफिक ऑर्गेनिज्म आंसर इज फर्स्ट वी प्रिपेयर वेराइटी ऑफ फूड स्टफ बाई यूजिंग ग्रेन पल्सेस वेजिटेबल्स एक्सेट्रा सेकेंड दिस प्रोविजन आर गिवन टू अस बाय प्लांट्स वी मे ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर फूड फ्रॉम फ्लैश एंड एक्स ऑफ अदर एनिमल्स थर्ड वी कैन नॉट परफॉर्म फोटो सिंथेसिस वेयर इन वी कैन एक्चुअली सिंथेसाइज द फूड मैटर फॉर Hence, we are not autotrophs. We are heterotrophs. Now, next, second, which organism are greater in number, autotrophs or heterotrophs? Why? The answer is first. The number of autotrophs is certainly more. The number of plants should be more so that they can be enough for the herbivores. Second, herbivores are dependent upon autotrophs. Third, if autotrophs decrease in numbers, the heterotrophs too will. Star and die. Fourth, therefore, in nature, the heterotrophs are always more than the heterotrophs to balance the food chain. Now, next, third, the number of heterotrophs found in desert region is smaller. However, they are found in greater number in the sea. Why is this so? The answer is first. In desert region, the heterotrophs are lesser in number as well as heterotrophs dependent on them are also less. Second, the food is scarce. therefore the number of heterotrophs also reduces third in oceans and seas there are multitude of zooplankton and phytoplankton phytoplankton are very small microscopic floating plants which we may not see fourth the food chain in the seas is dependent on these planktonic species therefore the number of heterotrophs found in desert region is smaller but they are found in greater number in the sea now next fourth what damage or harm do ectoparasitic and endoparasitic animals cause the answer is first parasitic organism depend on the host for its nutrition second ectoparasitic have specialized mouth part with the help of this they suck the blood example mosquito and bed bugs the biting insect cause a lot of discomfort third mosquitoes spread many diseases such as malaria dengue and elephantiasis fourth endoparasitic live inside the body of host example round worm hook worm pin worm etc fifth they absorb host nutrients and cause malnourishment to the host both ectoparasitic and endoparasitic cause damage to our health now next fifth why is plant food not produced in any other parts of the plant except the green ones the answer is the chlorophyll is present in the green parts of the plants in this part photosynthesis takes place this produces food the non green part do not produce food due to lack of chlorophyll so friends aaj hamara yahan pe lesson number 4 ka exercise complete hua फ्रेंड्स आप लोगों को ये वीडियो कैसा लगा आप लोग कमेंट बॉक्स पे जरूर लिख करके बताइए इस वीडियो को ज्यादा से ज्यादा लाइक कीजिए अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए ताकि उनको भी क्वेश्चन आंसर मिल सके और इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए नमस्कार दोस्तों